Hello, new recruits. Welcome to another First Naval Aerospace Squadron boot camp training videos. This video is on uniforms. Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, civilian clothes style out of armor uniforms, and we'll be also talking about in armor uniforms and why certain uniforms were adopted over certain other uniforms and things like that. All right. So take notes if you need to, and uh, the, understand that this is an early alpha edition of this boot camp and when it hits beta and when it goes live the uniforms might change due to availability of uh, uniform clothing styles and armor styles okay but as of right now as of 3.3.5 uh, we are adopting the gray the dark gray sweater the dark gray pants and the dark gray hat. So all gray and gray shoes as well. All right, so let's start talking about armor because that's kind of important to everybody here in the squadron. Uh, there's light, medium, and heavy armors and you, there's a variety of different ones uh, that, now I'm gonna tell you, uh, the squadron will almost always be in medium armor because of mobility and freedom of movement but if we are planning on getting into an engagement, we're planning on doing any kind of assault or uh, tackling any kind of major objective, uh, we should switch to heavy armor. Uh, or if, if your team leader believes that maybe one or two should be in heavy armor and the rest should be in medium armor to allow flanking or maneuverability for those individuals, uh, more reconnaissance style play style then listen to your listen to your team leader that's that's the bottom line basically all right so now i'm going to switch to uh, a variety of different armors here and i'm going to show you what they look like and then i'm going to show you why we decided to go in a certain direction all right guys now this is the imperial undersuit this is uh, provides no armor protection it is light blue and if we uh, are continuing with our blue theme in the squadron which we are we're going to be on a navy squadron the light blue undersuit works just fine for when you are uh, just flying around doing whatever you do hanging out in the city things like that uh, you can apply armor on top of the light blue undersuit uh, this will not really have any impact on anything. This is just aesthetics. It's just being able to tell who's on your team. Uh, now the Marines would normally use the TCS and I'll show you what that would look like. And this is the traditional TCS and this is what you would expect a Marine or a military pilot or, or soldier to have. So um, this is also a, a very good alternative. And this is, this is kind of our standard right here. The light blue was, a, was an idea, it was a thought, but we're gonna stick with the light green TCS right here. This is the squadron uniform when it comes to undersuits or flight suits, the TCS. Now let me add some items on top of this. All right, guys, this is the Inquisitor uh, armor, which I think, personally, I really like the looks of this. It's very, uh, very vicious looking, very, it uh, looks like you could, like, it looks like you would wreck somebody's day in this armor. Uh, the helmet is the Morningstar helmet. This is a medium set of armor, and uh, I really enjoy this set of armor. This is... This would be considered a criminal set of armor, like maybe a pirate or a smuggler or some kind of bandit. So we're not going to adopt this armor, even though I do like the look of it, and you probably like the look of it as well. But we're not going to we're not going to be wearing this armor. All right, now this is the Mark Ten medium marine armor, and this is a great set of armor to be using in the squadron as we are portraying the military as well. Uh, this, what's going on with my eye? Okay. Yeah, this 
This armor does restrict vision, so let me show you what it looks like in the helmet does. Let me show you what it looks like inside the helmet. You can see how it blocks some of your view. Uh, now let me pull up the Moby glass while you're in your helmet. You can see everything. So the view doesn't restrict uh, your Moby glass visibility, but it does just barely restrict the upper and lower portions of their view. So this is actually a really good helmet. So this is what we would recommend for our medium marine or medium armor, everyday use kind of thing. Now, when we get ready to go into battle or we decide we're going to go into battle, let's show you the heavy armor or if, or if your team leader assigns you as a heavy weapons or heavy armor person. Uh, and I do not oppose everyone wearing heavy armor, but that's between you, your team leader, and the situation that we might be engaged in. Let me show you what our heavy armor would look like. All right, guys, this is the Marine Heavy Armor. Uh, it's the Mark IV set of armor, and uh, it's it's a great, honestly, it's a great set of armor. I love the color of it. It's kind of kind of got like the OD. I've tried using it as camouflage or you know hiding in shadows and things like that on the planet of Hurston, and it works very well in the woods and in the desert. It works pretty much well everywhere. The only downside that I have with this armor set is the helmet the visibility on the helmet now let me go ahead now you would think just looking at my face right now that I would have great visibility but let me show you what it looks like from within inside the helmet all right you've got this box completely surrounding your visibility you cannot see everything and then when you pull up your Moby glass inside this helmet you cannot see your buttons down on the bottom here or under here uh, you can't see everything on the Moby glass I do not like this helmet uh, this helmet does provide a 40 percent damage reduction uh, but there is an older model of the helmet that also provides a 40 percent damage reduction and it looks a little different and it has a lighter green tint to it so here let me show you what it looks like okay this is the Baylor HCH. This is the uh, this is a classic marine heavy armor, 40% damage reduction uh, helmet. Uh, let's show you the look from the inside. You notice how there's no obstruction. I've got a full field of vision, and when I bring up my Moby glass, I've got full visibility except for this little area right here, which uh, that is that's fine. That little chunk right there where my vitals is covering up this comm link button that's okay but I can see everything else that I need to see and when I don't have my Moby glass up and I'm out engaging in combat or whatever I have full field of vision so the color of the helmet uh, isn't really that much of a difference and going forward in the uh, coming months I do expect us to be able to color our armors and we'll have to figure out how we're going to color it as part of our uniform scheme but as of right now our heavy marines should be wearing the mark 4 heavy armor and the Baylor helmet that is my recommendation to all of you medium should be the mark 10 and then if you're just going to go light no armor kind of action just go ahead and go with the TCS4 uh, undersuit uh, or the Imperial undersuit, the blue one, uh, and then leave that up to like our team organization to figure out how we're going to actually organize. Now, you notice this armor, you can see the undersuit underneath, but it, uh, it blends in well with the uniform, so that looks really good. So, all right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking out this uh, uniform tutorial. All right, and I'll see you on the next training. Eddie's.